happened here on Main Street, which looks like any across America trying to recover from the coronavirus pandemic. But here in old Ellicott City, this town is no stranger to economic setback. We are just getting our first look at the full scope of a stunning disaster that tore through the streets of a historic Maryland city. This town faced an historic flash flood two years ago, but that wasn't even their first one. Two years prior in 2016, it also had a thousand year flood. I spoke with business owners here about what's different this time around. You know, some mornings I wake up and I tell myself, go ahead, throw something else at me, I got this. You know, I, I really feel empowered. Um, and then some days the reality sets in and I say, yeah, wow, you know, here we go again. It's been an absolute roller coaster. Um, it's, it's been um, definitely challenging at times, but we also know that there's no place that we'd rather be. And I think that's why time after time we keep coming back and rebuilding. I think communities have experienced hardships by way of, of flooding, tornadoes, natural disasters. And ultimately, you know, if you do certain things that there's an end date. I think right now the challenge is we don't know what the end date is. How does the coronavirus pandemic feel similar or different to the floods? It was like a light switch and it's the same thing with the flood. You know, one day you're you're open and you're operating and you're doing well and the next day that's it, you're done. And you know, I think the the struggle this time is finding out when things are going to get back to normal. With the floods, we knew what we had to do. Um, we could see the damage. We knew what had to be replaced and repaired. This is something that we, we can't, we don't know anything about. We don't know how to, to battle it. Me personally, I'm ready to reopen. I'm, I'm ready to get back to work. I'm ready for um, life to start to feel a little bit normal. I absolutely understand that there's a lot of people out there who aren't and, and obviously respect that. But I think uh, at some point we have to start to take those steps. And as long as we're making sure that we're protecting our staff and protecting the public in every way that we can, then you know we're doing the best that we can with it all. I'm not really comfortable at this point um, having the public come into the cafe. I'm in no hurry to have that happen. Um, I've been exploring ways to make that outside ordering area that's temporary more permanent. I think this community in particular, who we've been through the two devastating floods, it has really made us stronger. We have more of um, a strength, an inner strength that says, you're, you're not going to get us. You're not going to keep us down. Uh, we're going to come back and we're going to be better than we were last time. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.